Following Burkina Faso's decision to stop using French as its official language, the country has partnered with Russia to introduce Russian language courses in its schools. This new educational cooperation between Burkina Faso and Russia is aimed at modernizing teaching, expanding access to education, and strengthening cultural ties between the two countries. As part of this partnership, ambitious initiatives have been unveiled between the two countries. These initiatives aim to revamp the education system in Burkina Faso and to provide students with more opportunities to learn about other cultures and languages. The introduction of Russian language courses is a significant step towards achieving these goals. The partnership also aims to improve the quality of education in Burkina Faso by providing teachers with modern teaching methods, new technologies, and other resources. By doing so, students will be better equipped to compete in the global job market and contribute to the development of their country. This decision follows a virtual meeting between Burkina Faso and Russian officials, signifying a growing partnership between the two countries. The Ministry of Education's Department of Communications described the initiative as ambitious, aiming to expand cultural and linguistic exposure for Burkina Faso students and strengthen relations between the two countries. The virtual conference addressed various areas of educational cooperation with the goal of improving Burkina Faso's education system. These areas include developing a digital platform tailored to specific educational needs and training teachers in its use, promoting patriotism within Burkina Faso's educational system, and providing training for aviation sector professionals. The Ministry of Education has recently reported that a team of Russian specialists will be collaborating with local Burkinabe technicians to develop and implement a comprehensive set of teaching materials. The primary goal of this initiative is to enhance the quality of education and professional preparation for students in Burkina Faso. The teaching materials will be designed to be highly relevant to the local context of the country, taking into account the specific needs and challenges of the region. The development of these materials will be guided by a rigorous research process, which will involve consultations with educators, curriculum experts, and other stakeholders. The materials will focus on providing students with practical skills and knowledge that will enhance their readiness for the workforce. This will include a range of topics such as technical skills, critical thinking, problem solving, and communication. The materials will also be designed to be highly interactive and engaging, using a variety of multimedia tools to make learning more fun and effective. The introduction of Russian language classes comes amidst a growing relationship between Burkina Faso and Russia. This development follows the rise to power of Captain Ibrahim Traoré in Burkina Faso, the December 2023 reopening of the Russian embassy in Ouagadougou, and the deployment of a contingent of roughly 100 Russian troops from Africa Corp to Ouagadougou. However, this growing partnership has come at the expense of Burkina Faso's previous diplomatic relationship with France. Last year, Burkina Faso made a bold and unprecedented move by officially abandoning French as its official language, marking a significant shift in its linguistic and cultural policy. This historic change was formalized through a constitutional amendment that was approved by the Burkinabe government under the strong leadership of Captain Ibrahim Traoré. The amendment, which was passed on, elevates national languages to official status, relegating French to a mere working language. This decision was a clear statement of intent by the Burkina Faso government to promote and preserve the country's rich cultural heritage and diversity, and to give a voice to the majority of the population who speak indigenous languages. With over 60 languages spoken across the nation, Burkina Faso is a multi-ethnic country with a vibrant and diverse culture. The adoption of this new policy is a resolute move aimed at fostering a greater sense of national identity and unity, as well as promoting inclusivity and equity in the country's governance and public services. French has been the official language of the country since it gained independence in 1960. However, the decision to introduce other languages is more than a symbolic act. It is an attempt to embrace the country's diverse linguistic heritage encourage unity and cultural pride among its citizens. Several African countries have made bold strides in recent years to shift their official language from French to English, highlighting a strategic move towards global integration. In Mali, the adoption of English as an official language under its new constitution 
represents a clear break from its French-speaking past, signaling a willingness to engage with the wider world. Similarly, Rwanda's decision in 2009 to transition to English was a calculated move to strengthen its bonds with English-speaking neighbors and assert its position on the international stage. Meanwhile, Gabon's promotion of English as a second language acknowledges the growing importance of the global lingua franca and prepares its citizens for success in the global economy. These decisive actions reflect a broader trend towards greater linguistic diversity in Africa, as countries recognize the need to embrace new opportunities and expand their horizons. The situation in Burkina Faso stands out as unique. The country has decided to prioritize the use of national languages, which is a bold move towards embracing the diverse indigenous culture. This linguistic shift aligns with Captain Treor's impassioned speech against imperialism on the nation's 63rd independence anniversary. In his speech, he criticized Western imperialism and its exploitative practices, connecting it directly to the widespread problems of terrorism and underdevelopment in the country. His words reflect a growing feeling across Africa where the effects of colonialism still cast a long shadow. Language is not only a tool for communication, but it also carries culture, history, and identity. In Burkina Faso, like many African countries, the colonial language was used as a common medium in a linguistically diverse environment. However, this often led to the erosion of local languages and cultures. The decision to move away from French is not just a political statement, but a cultural renaissance, which is helping the Burkinabi people to reconnect with their roots. So one of the most significant aspects of the partnership between Burkina Faso and Russia is the introduction of Russian as a language of instruction. This move is expected to bring about several benefits for Burkina Bay students, including the ability to acquire new language skills and the potential to explore new prospects for exchange and collaboration with Russia. Another crucial project of this collaboration is the creation of a state-of-the-art educational digital platform that is tailored to the specific needs of Burkina Faso. This platform aims to revolutionize traditional teaching methods by integrating modern technologies into the learning process. It is expected to provide students across the country with easy access to a wide range of high-quality educational resources that will enhance their learning experience and improve their academic performance. It is no secret that African governments have increasingly welcomed economic, diplomatic, and security ties with Russia, leading Western countries to denounce what they see as Russia's destabilizing influence and seek their own more equal partnerships. In recent years, there has been a significant increase in Russian influence across Africa, which is now becoming a focal point of the growing geopolitical contest between the Kremlin and the White House. According to U.S. officials, Russia's efforts to establish a multipolar world order, the use of disinformation campaigns, and the deployment of mercenaries have had a destabilizing effect on democratic stability and have fueled conflicts on the continent. While Russia's economic and military involvement in Africa still lags behind that of China and the West, some African governments, including South Africa, are moving closer to Moscow, particularly in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This trend has raised concerns about the long-term impact of Russian influence on the African continent and how it may shape the future of international relations in the region. Please feel free to express your opinions and thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this content informative, consider subscribing to our channel, giving us a like and sharing it with others.